All right, so let's finish what we didn't finish yesterday. Put the sheet that I gave you today like to the side and let's look at what we did yesterday. All right, so we start, we got, a, we got our big idea, right? Okay, what did we say about prepared? I have a question mark by it. The, the second big idea. Okay, let's revisit our evidence again. Let's revisit our evidence and go back and see Check, let's check this prepared and see if this fits the idea of why should our strength be reaffirmed. Look at our evidence again and see if our evidence proves prepared. Talk with your partner. You got like one minute. Ready, set, go. All right. Anybody come up with anything different? Shifa? But I feel like that's why should our strength be reaffirmed? Because we're determined. Determined to do what? Prepared to do what? Like, I feel like we're still missing something. Miley? Okay. Yes. So, okay. Maggie? Got to be careful. <laughs> I shot down real quick. It's a hard audience. I'll tell, it's a hard audience here. Um, I, we just have to be careful because the word revenge, right, from a president is the, the, yeah, kind of. I mean, you would think. What else do you have, Harry? Uh, prepared for like a fight. Okay. I think those would work. Yeah. What about like prepared to avenge? Not revenge, but like avenge. Okay. Would you like to comment or would you like me to comment? Nah, I'm just, okay. I'm just like, I'm speaking to myself. Okay. I'm speaking to I mean, I think avenge is a good change from revenge. Uh, I'm kind of getting there. Maddie? What about, like, not, like, find a word for, like, bringing justice, kind of? Like, not necessarily bringing justice. Yeah, the only thing we don't want to do is we don't want to, like, be able to point to it, right? Because in the end, that's really what he is. Like, that's what he says, right? Like, we will resolve for justice, right? Uh, we'll try it. One more, Amaya. No, I'm just confused. Okay. Like, just <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Me too, like, girl. The big idea, so we're basically, all we read in the second part is we're, we're now just figuring out one word or a couple it, words to sum it up. Not sum it up, but look at, like, what should we infer from that? It's not always going to be one word. Right? Like when we look at Obama today, it could be a little bit longer. We want it to be as concise as possible. This one gives us the ability of finding like a characteristic, right? Like why should our strength be reaffirmed? Because we are blank, right? So one word fits here, but it doesn't necessarily have to be one word. I mean, that's a good question. What we're going to work on, you'll find is that you want to say all these things in your claims and they're going to be too long. And I want you, we need to get them as concise as possible because what happens is you end up saying all the things in your claim and then you go to analyze and like you don't have anything to talk about because you've already said something, right? So you want it to be clear and concise because what you're doing is your evidence will now go to prove it, right? For right now, let's leave prepared. We'll, we'll, we'll see. What we do. Okay, on the bottom, I'm going to write our claims, but I want to show you here is our format for our claims. Okay, you have no options. You must write your claims 
with the language that I give you or else you will not get credit from me. Okay? <coughs> so, we will always start claim one with in the first half. And I'll tell you why once we get to looking at our rubric. In the first half, and then we have our speaker, so you could say Bush or President Bush. And then we're going to take our tone word, and our tone word we're going to change into an adverb that modifies our verb. It's a lot of grammar for y'all, okay? So take out your yellow pages that has the rhetorical and argumentative verbs on it. I have one more of these that has another list of rhetorically accurate verbs that I need to give you. Um, but the whole purpose of us having this list is kind of like the tone. A lot of times you just don't have the language to move into analysis. So instead of saying says, Bush says, Bush argues, instead of saying the same thing over and over again, we want to choose a verb that is accurate to the situation, right? Not all verbs will work, right? So we're looking at like this in the beginning, we don't want something that, that is a, a weak verb. We need a verb that matches the idea of the tone of consoling, right? Because we have to match our verb and our tone together. So look at what he's doing in the first half, and then, y'all stop talking. In the first half, look in the first half, look at our evidence, look at what he's doing, look at our tone. Now go find a verb. Talk with your partner. Yep. They're going to be separate. I mean, the tone should describe what your big idea is. No. Yeah. I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I mean, and we can extend that prepared to do what? Prepared to seek justice would be fine. Prepared to. I think we could go with what Shifa said, like prepare to avenge the wrongs that have been done. So we could extend that a little bit if we wanted to. Yeah. All right. What verbs do we like? Kellen, you've had your hand up for forever. What? With the new haircut and all. Give it to me. Affirms. Affirms would work. Nixon. <laughs> Sympathizes. Put that with the tone word. Consolingly sympathizes. It's a little repetitive, right? I, I don't know if he's more, I don't, I think providing is, is more like telling. It's too direct. What'd we say? I heard another one. Uh, maybe. I, I think I think illuminates, assures. I think that works. I guess I'm just not liking the consoling very much. I know. <laughs> I mean, we'll go with it. Miley, did you have another one? Yeah. Consolingly illustrates. Does that work? Consolingly, go with Keldon. Keldon, what was yours? What was yours? Consolingly assures. I did, did you see I'm not liking the consoling? What was another what was another tone word we had in there? That's not a tone word. <laughs> Patriotic, optimistic, yeah, yeah, that's where we are. Optimistic, authoritative, consoling. 
I I guess I'm not liking consoling because I don't feel like this idea of like our mil I mean I guess the military could be consoling I don't like the way it's going with the verb I don't like it do what? solemnly I don't like, I'm not liking consoling. I think I'm going to change that. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, there can be a shift within the shift. Yep. Kyle, what were you going to say? Yeah, I think I could go with authoritatively. <laughs> you are sassy today, Gavin. Where did that come from? Okay, give me a rav. Give me a give me a verb. What? No, that's tone word. I need a rav. Affirms. Gavin is two for two. Okay. So, in the first half, Bush authoritatively affirms. So, see what I did? There is the speaker. There is the tone. The tone describes the verb. So, I just added an L-Y to it, right? Authoritatively affirms. I like, we like the resilience. America's resilience. That's your claim. Do you see how like the idea of like consolingly affirms like it it changes the mood a little bit right that's as simple as it is in the first half bush authoritatively affirms this one is america because we're talking about america right america's resilience so what do we think claim two we'll start with in the second half All right, you, uh, let's say, let's go ahead and explain, like, extend this prepared. Prepared to seek justice, prepared to avenge the wrongs, right? I mean, that's going to, we're going to end up going, like, that's good. We need to go back and look at our purpose, at our, we, we will go back and look at our, um, do for the task that's going to go more towards our two of like what he wants us to do it like after we understand this this is what he wants us to do will be a war right prepare for war right so let's say prepared um i you could say to seek justice i'm okay with that even though that's in the text i think i'm okay with that prepared to seek justice or prepared to avenge the wrongs done to America. We can do that. All right. You have two minutes with your partner to write the claim for the second half. Ready, set, go. <laughs> you acting it yourself. Say that again? I don't know, we wrote it down. You should have that definition written down, Gavin. With your little bitty pencil.
Google it. A computer. Obama. Oh, oh. Oh. 